everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to do a job overview of a wound care nurse. I'm going to talk about what a wound care nurse is, what type of setting they work in, what are the typical hours you can expect to work as a wound care nurse, how to become one, different types of certifications you can get, salary information, and then of course their likes and dislikes about the job. So first let's talk about what a wound care nurse is. We know that they take care of wounds, right? But what else do they do? Well, it's a specialty of nursing that concentrates on wound care. They assess, they monitor, and they treat patients' wounds. And these wounds can range anywhere from burns to surgical wounds to diabetic or arterial ulcers, pressure ulcers, hyperbaric therapy, things like that. And they also, not only do they care for wounds, but a lot of wound care nurses have become certified to also care for ostomies and continence issues. And these nurses have the credentials. You may see them sign their name. They might, they might sign it, their name, and then the credentials. C-W-O-C-N, which is just stands for Certified Wound Ostomy Care Continence Nurse, or a W-O-C-N. A lot of jobs want you to have some type of certification if you're going to go and get a wound care job, which we'll go over here in a second. But let me talk about my experience with wound care nurses and how my setting, how I experienced it as a nursing student. Whenever I was a nursing student, we were exposed to a lot of different settings. And one thing I got to do was go for a day and work in a wound care clinic. And that is really where I started loving wound care. If my heart, my first love wasn't in cardiac nursing, wound care would definitely be the second one. But we were in the clinic and in the clinic you would have patients come in from their home, out from their home and they would come in and get their dressing changed because usually they've been discharged from the hospital or something like that. And um, the nurse I was with, she had her own little office and we would get pa patients one by one and take them back. And she would change their dressings. We seen a lot of arterial wounds and diabetic wounds on the lower leg and on the feet because whenever you're a diabetic or have any arterial issues, you don't get really good blood flow down to your extremities. So anytime you get a sore or you hit it or you bump it or anything like that, they're at huge risk of losing that extremity unless they take care of the wound and nurture it. So they have to come in for regular dressing changes. And we would change those dressings. The doctor would come in, look at that, maybe prescribe some antibiotic therapy or a special type of wound or dressing or something like that. And we would do that. And it was really a nice setting. You got to spend one-on-one -on -one time with your patients. And it was a lot more laid back than floor nursing. Then, whenever I started working as a nurse in the hospital, our hospital, it's a relatively large hospital, has like seven floors, we would have a team of wound care nurses. And they would work Monday through Friday, and the doctors, if a patient came in and they're admitted and they had like a really bad wound or any really type of wound that needed to be addressed, they would consult wound care. And the wound care team would come, it'd usually be a nurse, one nurse or maybe two nurses if it was a lot of wounds. And they would come and they would look at the patient's wound, they would treat it, and then they would write up a plan of care for us nurses to follow daily or however much they recommended. And we would follow that. And they were just really helpful. They were great. They helped us manage our wound backs and everything like that. And they seemed to really love their job. So what type of work setting do these nurses tend to work in? They tend to work in wound care clinics, which is what I was just discussing. Hospitals, they will have a team of wound care nurses or patients will come in. They'll have like a clinic inside the hospital and they'll come down there and have their wounds taken care of. Home health, a lot of this, because patients will be get discharged from the hospital and the doctor will write for wound care to come out and keep taking care of the wound because maybe they're not able to take care of it as properly as um, if they didn't have a nurse. Hospice care and nursing homes, also known as long-term care facilities. A lot, because the patients are really at risk, they have um, not as good nutrition and they're at risk for pressure ulcers and stuff and they'll work there. So what type of hours do these nurses typically work? Generally, most wound care nurses work a Monday through Friday job, eight hours a day, eight to five, maybe nine hours a day. But now, since this specialty is really starting to take off, you may see some jobs where um, some hospitals are wanting them 12 hours, three days a week, 
or they may just be hiring, um, they hire a batch of nurses for Monday through Friday and then they hire a weekend wound care nurse. It really varies. It depends on who you work for and what type of employment hours they are offering. But generally it's Monday through Friday, eight to five, but you can find those sometimes 12 hour shifts. So how do you become one? First, you have to be a registered nurse and um, with a BSN, a bachelor's degree. And typically what happens is that you will see a job posting for a wound care nurse. And if you go to the educational requirements, they typically want you to be certified through the W, the WOCNCB, which is Wound, Ostomy, and Continence Nursing Certification Board, who gives out these credentials to say that you've been certified as a wound care nurse. Now, sometimes these wound care places, they will just hire you with the promise that you're gonna be getting the certification while you're employed. So it totally depends. But what you wanna do is, before you can become wound care certified, one of the requirements of this board is that you have to be a registered nurse with an active license and have a bachelor's degree. Then you have to attend a program um, if you go to their website, they will have a list of programs, hopefully in your area you can take, and you can get specific credentials. And what you wanna do is you wanna look at your workplace that you wanna work for and see what they require from a wound care nurse. Cause some places may require that you just have a, w a CWCN, which is a Certified Wound Care Nurse Certification. Majority of them want the CWOCN certification, meaning that you're certified in wounds, ostomies, and continence issues. So look, I really recommend you go to the hospital's job board and see what it requires that you wanna work for, and that'll help you decide which certification you wanna get. And these are the certifications, I'll go over them with you real fast. We went over this one, this is a certified wound ostomy care nurse, um, CWCN is a certified wound care nurse. A COCN is a certified ostomy care nurse. A CCCN is a certified continence care nurse. And then a CWON is a certified wound ostomy nurse. And you must go through an accredited program and the WOCN CB, which is the Wound Care Continence Nursing Certification Board, they have a list of these programs and where you can go. And these programs generally take about two to three months to complete. And they usually require, I think I've seen one that's completely online, but most of them require that you're in a lecture class and then you have clinical time. So it takes about typically that long to get. And then after you do that, you get your certification, then you have to take a credentialing exam through the W ocncb.org which is that credentialing board that we were just talking about and get your credentials so what kind of salary can you expect to earn as a wound care nurse according to bls.gov this is a compilation of all registered nurses together and um, it doesn't split them up by geographical location which has a huge impact on how much you're going to make as a nurse or um it's all of nurses with one year's experience, 10 years experience together added up, and this is the figure. $69,790 yearly or $33.55 hourly. Now let's talk about the likes and dislikes of this job because just like with anything, there's things that you're gonna love and there's things that you're not gonna be too excited about. So first let's talk about the positive, the likes. Most nurses, they say that they love having a patient who's had a serious wound and they've been treating the wound maybe for like months and their hard work and the patient's diligence has finally paid off and that wound has healed and that is just really satisfying and awesome and the patient's excited and you're excited to see the patient come that long. So that's really gratifying. Next, um, a lot of nurses, they report they like the nice hours. It's um, not as demanding as those grueling 12 hour shifts and it's a little bit easier than bedside nursing because um, bedside nursing tends to be stressful. You're on your feet a lot more and it can be hard on you. And they also report that they like having more patient satisfaction, I mean, more patient interaction. It's one on one interaction. You don't have like six patients you're juggling at a time. It's usually one on one and then you get your next patient. And they really like that. So, what are some things that they're not too crazy about? One thing that they report is that it's frustrating when you have patients who are non-compliant, that they're not providing care to their wound at home, or they're not really following your education. They keep repeating and coming back over and over. And if they would just follow what you would say, it would get better. So that can be frustrating. 
Next, um, one thing that can be frustrating is that it's always changing, so you're always having to keep up to date with treatments, with new supplies out, and you're always having to keep yourself updated with knowledge. Another thing is that whenever you get credentialed, this isn't here, but I wanna add that, is that you have to keep reapplying every five years and get re-credentialed, and that's another thing that they get a little frustrated about. And it's a competitive field. Uh, a lot of people like to go into this field because a lot of people like wound care. So you, um, it's really competitive. The jobs aren't as abundant as, say, floor nursing. So if you're thinking about it, make sure you're planning ahead, especially if you're a student, you can go ahead and start stra strategizing your plan and getting your certifications whenever you feel like you want to. So that is a little bit about wound care nursing. I hope I helped increase your knowledge a little bit. And thank you so much for watching.